Hi. Good morning, everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. If you came to our channel for the first time, click on subscribe button. In this video, I'm going to provide you that uh, few more details or explanation about uh, widgets on our YouTube community. If you are following closely our channel, last few weeks, we are posting different kind of SAP quizzes which were introduced by YouTube, where you can see the answer immediately without waiting for the comment. Earlier, we used to have only polls, but uh, with those polls, you have to wait for the answer in one or two days or three days. I used to provide the answer in the comment, but here the answer is going to be provided immediately. And once you select that option, you can see whether that option is correct or wrong. And uh, if it is correct or wrong, you can see that uh, right option along with the like, respect to explanation. Today's uh, agenda, I'm going to take those kind of quizzes and I will explain you again. If you have missed to do that answer, if you don't know the answer, it will be helpful for you to learn. Let us check it first. I'm, uh, I came to our uh, content. And uh, here we have an uh, option called uh, posts. Okay. Once we come to the post, there is an option, visibility and type. I'm going to type quiz. Okay. So with these quizzes, I'm going to explain you. It came recently only. So we have few. Let us go one by one. Okay. We have this option. So the question here is like uh, purchase info record can be maintained at only purchasing organization level. The answer is false because you can maintain it purchasing organization and plant. For example, what is the difference between these two? If you take a uh, kind of a thing. So let me take font size of 20. For example, you have material, okay, vendor, purchase, organization. With this combination, you have a price of, let's take this one. You have a price of 100 INR. For this combination, you have a price of 100 INR. Same way, same material, such an organization and plant you maintained. For this combination, you maintain a value of 110 INR. Okay. Let's take it plant A. So during this situation, you create info record like this. So when you create PO for plant B, what is the price? 100. PO for plant C, 100. PO for plant A, 110. So that's what you can maintain the info record with plant level or only purchasing organization level. If your organization has five or 10 plants and they want the same price across all um, plants, then the recommendation is like you need to Tell them that we are going to uh, 
you suggest them to maintain a departing organization level so that uh, they will get the same price across all the plans that's what the difference so let me remove this clear i'll try and stop it mm. so this is what happened so i hope you got the clarity for this question can be maintained at purchasing organization and plant also so the next curve will be what is the monthly income from supplier so super thanks uh, okay it's okay it's uh, something related to super chat so no one uh, provides that one actually i just gave this kind of thing to to know the how what people are uh, expecting so anyway we are we never focus on super thanks and all we need your views and uh, support by sharing and comments and if you really wanted to learn more by supporting then uh, enroll our udemy courses okay no need to give some super thanks just for saying thanks and all we have you can say thanks by commenting you can say thanks by sharing and even we have a courses on udemy you can go and enroll it you purchased 10 piece for 100 dollars gr and ir both are completed so 10 piece for 100 dollars means each quantity 10 dollar now vendor is uh, requesting to pay $10 extra due to handling charges and other reasons. You have agreed to pay. Vendor is asking that uh, we agreed for $100, means each piece $10, but for me, because of certain reasons, the overall $10 extra was happened. Can you pay? Then uh, after negotiations, you decided to pay to the vendor. How do you pay? Okay. So what kind of document you're going to create? So you need to understand that invoice received, you will pay when you receive the stock. So you should not create it. Subsequent credit, credit. Subsequent credit, you will only, if you want to take the money from vendor, you have to pay it. Otherwise, subsequent credit, spotlight, yeah. Subsequent credit is not the correct answer. The correct answer is subsequent debit. Vendor is not giving you any quantity but he is asking you extra money to pay. So in that situation, you need to go for subsequent debit. Credit memo, nowhere, because when you return the quantity back to the vendor, then credit memo is required. I provided that explanation also. So answer is subsequent debit. You can see 73 percentage of members have given the correct answer. Okay, we are going for the next question. Maybe we believe we will give four five. Okay, till this one and complete on by one. A source list is created for the combination of material A and vendor A. Will system allow to create PO for the material A and vendor B as per SAP standard behavior? Yes, but warning measures will be shown. So the correct answer 81 percent is given. Thanks to nice to see that 1000 members have participated. I want this number should be more because we have daily visitors to our channel or around 2500 people. So I want uh, even more people have to visit and at least 2000 people have to participate uh, in these kind of quizzes. They have to test their knowledge and uh, read the question and answer properly and give the answer. You have to read the question properly and think and give the answer. So here the one is, uh, if you have a source list for uh, vendor A, when you create a PO with vendor B, system will give you a warning message like, different source of supply is available for this material. So it is conveying that you are trying to create with a different vendor, but there is a source of supply is designed for this. Okay. So in this case, what you need to understand is um, system is going to 
tell you that there is a vendor. So please cross check again. Is it intense? Like you are just planning to procure or by mistake you are giving the vendor B. So you have to recheck it. Okay, there is info record source lists are available. So still I'm uh, creating because because that vendor is giving for a good price or uh, you already spoke to the vendor. He is giving you within two days. Generally, your vendor A is giving within 10 days, but you need certain shortage of material. So you spoke to the vendor. This vendor is giving you within two days. So you are creating. Okay. So the business requirement I'm just giving you. I always mention that we are SAP consultants. We don't just think about question and answer. We need to understand about the business requirement and um, why the business is following certain process and why can't they create with vendor B and why can't uh, they create vendor A. All those things you need to understand. Okay. So the next question. So this is nice to see 1.1000. Who will post the physical inventory differences in real time with MA07? So the correct answer is finance team because most of the companies MA07 will not be given to uh, logistics team because they are going to enter the account. So they cannot clear uh, the respective financial things. Okay. So finance team is the correct answer. So maybe one or two places you see logistics, but when you see the finance team, the answer should be finance. Okay. Although Logistics may get a little uh, confusion. You may get generate. Purchasing and sales team are completely out of the race. Okay. The next question. Is it possible to survive as a SAP function consultant without Excel skills? No, it is required. Yes. Actually, uh, when you're working in any data migration activities and even normal activities when you're doing analysis or when you want to extract certain data and you're working on three, four tables and, for example, you're working with EKKO and getting uh, document date and PO number and all and then passing into EKPO. When you're doing these kind of analysis, uh, Excel sheet and we look up, okay, sometimes doing pivot and uh, removing duplicates and comparing between data to data comparison all these things will play the key role and uh, come to our channel and uh, such as excel videos by Ganesh Padala I prepared only the formulas or the shortcuts which are helpful for SAP consultants please check the, our uh, videos because you will find the very good excel videos in internet in youtube or anywhere but they provide you a lot of information. Some of the information may not be immediately required for you. But uh, if you come to our channel and check it, because I prepared each one, because just to, if I want to make more videos on Excel sheet, okay, Excel knowledge, I can check any uh, good expert Excel videos and I can put some, I can take some 50, 100 points and I can make it. But I didn't make in that way. I made only the formulas which I used in my real time which I use during my implementation a support project. So definitely those will be helpful for you. Uh, come to our channel and search as MS Excel videos by Ganesh Padala so that you will find it. The next question. Pivot quantity and total amount are 10 and $200. Pivot quantity is 10 and the total amount is $200 means per Per unit price is twenty dollars. IR quantity also uh, is ten and two twenty dollars. So IR was posted for twenty dollar extra because first invoice receipt has come before goods. Now the shipment is uh, a few scenarios. What happened uh, when the shipment is uh, planned? The vendor will send the invoice to the company. Company will post the invoice, but the shipment will come after one week or ten days or twenty days or one month based on the delivery date like what are the delivery period uh, uh, which is designed and the distance between the vendor and the company location, it will take few days. So inverse reset is uh, posted with the $20 extra. Now you post a GR for 10 pieces, what will be the amount? Okay, so GR based, here I mentioned on point called GR based IV is blank. So just for your understanding and also you can easily uh, guess that GR IV is blank because system has allowed you to post inverse receipt first before GR. That can happen only 
if the GR based IV is blank. If the GR based IV is having a flag, then uh, you cannot do it. I'm talking about the GR based IV, uh, which is available under invoice tab of the PO item. So this one, okay. If it is blank, you can post invoice receipt first. If it is uh, having a flag, you cannot post. First, you need to post the GR and then IR. Okay, here the answer is the amount will be. So IR is posted first, $220. So when you post the GR, system will uh, check whether invoice receipt is available or not. It will give you the top priority to the invoice receipt. If there is no invoice receipt, it will get the price from the PO. So here the answer is the price will be $220. 91% have given answer. Thanks for the participation. Okay, now we are going to next few questions. Okay, we are still fewer has two items. During goods received against production order without any account assignment, stock account BSX will be debit. What will be the credit key? So when we do the uh, purchasing, right, uh, the BSX will be debit and um, mostly the GRIR clearing account will be credit because you have invoice receipt to clear it. But during production, there is no invoice receipt concept. So there is no clearing, uh, GRIR clearing account. So if the stock account debit is BSX, what will be the credit entry? The credit entry is GBB AUF. GBB AUF is designed for the production order. If you want to check in SAP, let's check it. Go to SPRO, reference IMG, because there is a documentation which you can go through. Material management, valuation and account assignment, account determination without wizard, configure automatic postings. Here you click on this document. So in this document, you can see the documentation related to all the transaction keys. So we are searching for AU, AUF. So let us search. Control F. So I already mentioned it's under GBB. Here, AUF, goods receipt for orders without account assignment. Okay, Goods receipt for uh, production order, AUF will be hit. If the total uh, amount is uh, $100, so BSX $100 debit and AUF $100 credit. System will post those entries. So uh, I can see 62% have given correct answer. And maybe because of production order, many people have ignored only 431 have answered it. You can come to our community and check for the world quizzes. You can check it. But anyway, this video is made uh, mainly because um, I, I get few messages that how can I find all the quizzes? Okay, I can post it again and again, the same quizzes. But compared to that, I felt like let's make a video and wherever if I can add certain kind of additional explanation or uh, showing in SAP, that could be uh, a good value addition to the members. So that's why I made it like this. I hope this idea and my efforts will be helpful for you. If you really like it, just uh, share with your uh, friends so that all of them can be benefited out of this. Open sales order quantity equal to 10. Open pure quantity equal to 20. Available stock 
in the warehouse on hand quantity is five. What is the maximum outbound delivery quantity you can create with reference to SO? This is a little tricky. And if you are understanding about the delivery and sales order, then you can understand it. So you have a sales order created for 10 quantity and you created a purchase order for 20 quantity, which you are expecting in the near future. And you have a stock of only five. So when you create outbound delivery, system will not allow you to create more than available stock. Outbound delivery is like a confirmation. It means you are able to create outbound delivery means you are able to pick the goods and issue to the customer. So you cannot pick the goods or you cannot create outbound delivery based on the fewer quantity, which you are going to expect. Outbound delivery you are creating today, but uh, the PO you are going to receive after two months. During these kind of cases, system cannot uh, allow you to create more than available stock. So here answer is five. You can create outbound delivery only for the five quantity and remaining five quantity in the sales order will go for back order. Okay. So the five quantity, you need to create another outbound delivery when the stock is arrived based on this PO. Good to see that 83% of our uh, YouTube followers, YouTube family given the correct answer. Let's go to the next question. What is the maximum length of serial numbers in SAP? It's a straight question. Uh, I think this kind of question may be asked for refreshers or two years or three years, maybe. After five years, mostly they may not ask you. Okay, the length uh, related kind of a questions. Eight, 18 is the correct answer. Thanks for uh, participating in the quiz. Because these kind of uh, people, if you think about uh, income, if you give this kind of post, nobody will get the income. And uh, if you give uh, 2000 people have participated, nobody will give the income. These, these are all not for the income. Even for an SAP consultant, the YouTube channel itself is not for the income. It's only for reaching people enhancing our circle, enhancing the satisfaction in helping people and growing. If you have a Udemy, it will be helpful for you. And if you are looking for a new job opportunity, your YouTube channel will be helpful for you. Uh, most of you aware about that. Uh, before YouTube channel, I was searching for an on-site opportunity in my previous company. But once a YouTube channel has come, within 1.5 years, it gave me opportunity in three countries. So no brother, no cousin or no relative, no friends, no one has referred our YouTube channel with the help of LinkedIn, I gave me an opportunity. So that you should not think about direct income or direct uh, benefit for me everywhere. Okay. So there are certain things will be a slowly it will give you uh, the enough thing, but you need to be patient. You need to be passionate about that. Every day you're searching for an uh, expectation, then you cannot do. You like your passion, do like a habit enjoy what you're doing, the results will follow you. You don't have to run for the results. I used to run for the results in 2015-16 uh, for the on-site and all those things. I was not succeeded, but I was doing it my passion. I got it. In 2017, I got uh, that whatever job I'm expecting, but almost now six years completed. Next August, we are going to complete, uh, the next month we are going to complete six years, but the passion on YouTube is still available. You may ask me that, what is the motivation for this? Your comments and the satisfaction in helping thousands of people by spending few hundreds of hours. It cannot happen if I'm teaching directly to people. I can hardly teach 300, 500, 1000 people if I really plan in a big way by keeping 20 people, 25 people in a one batch where I cannot interact with many people. So still, I cannot reach this kind of count. As of now, we reached more than 4 lakhs, 400,000 people across the world. And we are keep sharing every day, 2,500 to 3,000 people, monthly 50,000. This June month, uh, we made few records. First time, 50,000 unique members have uh, visited our channel. And first time, 150,000 views we got. And uh, one day, 7,000 plus views. Three things happened in the month of June, 2023. 
it's a special month for me because I was born. So thanks again for all of your support. You just give me views, it will be motivated. Okay, don't think that one some SAP uh, YouTube channel, you have to start for money, uh, for direct revenue from the YouTube, then please don't start because you will end up in few months because you will be disappointed. Because when you start that YouTube channel, you would have already five years or four years or six years, whatever uh, experience in SAP. SAP. So you would be getting some good income. And if you're in abroad, you will get even better income. At that point of time, this YouTube is like it's uh, nothing in front of what you are earning. But what can motivate you to run the channel? The people's blessings and uh, enjoy the way I enjoy the journey of knowledge sharing. Then you can do it. Okay, our next question, what is the future of SAP WM knowledge? Yeah, many people have that kind of a thought WM will be no more in S4 HANA. We have a video, uh, S4 HANA uh, for SAP WM is available on S4 HANA with the name of Stockroom Management. So you can search, uh, come to our channel and search uh, future of SAP WM by Ganesh Padala, where I explain the video uh, about the Stockroom Management. And uh, it is uh, almost kind of a copy from SAP WM. So your knowledge and the CM transaction codes and the tables, function modules, everything are available. So happy learning SAP warehouse management. And there are companies who are currently using, thousands of companies are using SAP WM. And in that, I believe that um, many of the people or many of the companies, most of the companies are uh, thinking to go with the same SAP WM. Okay, because they have the customization and they don't want to, uh, they don't want any new functionalities which are available in EWM. If a company wants to take the advantage of EWM, then they go for SAP EWM. I'm talking about the companies who are already using SAP WM. The complete brand new companies, they have a flexibility. They can choose EWM, okay, compared to stockroom management. But the companies who are already using SAP WM for last 10 years or five years or six years, say, whatever, those have a uh, few customization and SAP allowed them to copy those customization to the S4 HANA. So they are going for the same with the name of Stockroom Management. So I was mentioning, and I can show you a few SAP transactions in S4 HANA. This is S4 HANA system. You can see that LS26, Going a little slow. In this mid time, yeah. And the server related, I think, some issues. Slash on LT21. So, anyway, we are using already S4 HANA uh, stockroom management. Okay, this is the idea system, what kind of setup is uh, not properly done or not. But I want to tell that all the transactions and the process are available in S4HANA. So your EWM knowledge is uh, not uh, being wasted. Okay. So uh, looks like they have some of the patches are not updated in this idea system. I can escalate to that server provider. Why these decodes are not available based on their messages. Okay, I can check with them. Okay, now we are going for the next question. Okay, how will you identify whether a material is managed in serial number or not? The correct answer is based on the serial number profile field but not uh, checkbox or serial number field and all. Where can you find it? Slash n sc 16 n M-A-R-C. In M-A-R-C, there is a field called um, S-C-R-N-P, serial number profile. Let's keep it not equal to 
blank. We will get the list of materials which are managed in serial number. So let's take this material FG126 1610 plant slash an MM03. See in S4HANA, material field length is huge because of 40 characters. And I recommend you to go directly to general plant data storage to view where the serial number profile is available. Maybe you can take any one plant. See here, serial number profile is maintained. So you can see in the plant data storage to view the table wise MERC table. So if it is available, then you can consider that material is managed in serial number. Okay, we are going for the next question. PO has uh, two items. Item one has one quantity and the price is $100. Item two has one quantity and the price is $200. Note invoice tolerance is maintained for company code as $10 for the key PP price variance. I will show you where we do this configuration. Now GR is posted for two quantity and the amount is $300. Okay, so now means that you have posted for the both items and the total amount is $300 because PO has $300 and total amount is $300. Now you are posting invoice receipt with below details. Okay, same item. For item 1, you have given $106 and uh, item 2, you are giving $208. Will the system block the invoice as the invoice total amount is $314? The answer is no, because system will always check the at item level because invoice receipt can be posted at item level. So the tolerance limit will work at the item level. So system will verify the first item $100, but uh, it is $6 within $10 and $208 within $10. So system will not block the invoice for the posting. Okay, It will just uh, post, but the payment will not go for the blocking because there is no blocking is triggered. So here I wanted to tell that the total PO is crossing $10. So it will block for the payment. No, it will check at the each item and uh, each item has not crossed the $10. So it will not block for the payment. Let me show you where you can do this configuration. There is a transaction also directly, but uh, I always prefer to go with, because transactions few, you may remember, but if you go with uh, SPRO path, we are always confident to go to the correct destination. Material management, logistics invoice verification, invoice block, set tolerance limits, for your company, 2000 PP. Okay. PP is the price variance where you are, I'm talking about this. Here you can see lower limit percentage. There are a few videos about this tolerance also on our channel. Uh, Gane Inverse verification by Ganesh Padala. You can search to find our videos. So here low, uh, lower limit and upper limit. You can see in uh, amount and percentage. Okay system will hit uh, based on the maintaining. So which will hit first means which is the smallest system will hit that. So you can maintain both amount and uh, percentage or you can keep it only percentage based on the requirement. You can do those things. Just uh, now I mentioned that one. If you keep both, then system will give top priority to the one which comes first, means which is the smallest amount. So for example, here, 5% uh, is coming $10, but then system will hit at $5.11. Okay, if the amount is more than 5.11, it will throw, it will give the warning or error, whatever you put it, it will give that message that uh, the invoice amount is more than the tolerance amount. 
this is where here you are going to do these kind of a settings. Okay, next we are going to maintain the other questions. I keep making these posts uh, like uh, quizzes uh, whenever I get uh, time and interest or thoughts. So this kind of video I can plan again after three months so that at least we can uh, discuss some 20 or 30 questions in one video. Maybe after three months. If I make a little bit early, you will get a few questions only in that session. Okay. Pure quantity and total amount are 10 and $200. Pure quantity is 10 and total amount is $200 means per quantity, $20. IR quantity are eight, quantity eight only, but amount is same $200 was posted. Now you posted the GR of 10 pieces, what will be the amount? Okay, this one is a tricky. How does it uh, calculate? So I will tell you this one. So let's go to Excel sheet. What was given? Pure quantity and amount. Pure quantity 10 okay. amount 200 so per unit 20. Now IR is posted. How is IR? Quantity is 8. Amount is 200. Per unit was taken as Two hundred divided by eight per unit is twenty five. Okay, we need to observe this difference. Now we are posting GR. Okay, this one I just mentioned you because uh, we are, for your understanding or uh, whenever you prepare the questions, right? We need to think a lot. So you would have thought like just five lines Ganesh has given and given the answer. Behind that, there would be few minutes of uh, thinking because I am representing. 874 people have answered okay i'm very sure that at least 300 or 400 people would have seen the poll but they have not answered okay so when there are 1500 people are reading my post then i should be responsible in giving proper question with uh, proper details i always try to give my best to give the question with less confusion maybe one or two times can happen because um we have the question and all because when you're reading that one i should give the few note points which will help you to give the correct answer okay so you're all spending your time to watch my videos and watch my polls or quizzes i should respect your time at the same time you also should respect my time by giving the answer because i spend time for you to share the knowledge you give your time by giving the by participating in the poll and if you like the poll and uh, the, a quiz video or anything, please share it with your uh, SAP friends. You are not going to lose anything by sharing. Just you are joining your hands and sharing knowledge. I always mention one statement. My efforts are same. Today for making this video, I'm going to spend 1.5 or 2 hours of time. That will be same. I, I will make it and I, I will publish in a few days. But next activity within your hands, how many people you are going to share it? I will be happy, right? If my two hours of time is helping 10,000 people, 20,000 people, not just 1,000 or 500 people, right? So please share it. And one day you will share your documents and videos. Today you are going to share my documents or some other uh, content creator. But one day you can share yours. So let's come to the calculation. Okay, now we are posting the GR. While posting GR, 
like I mentioned, system will give the top priority to the IR. So it is posting 10 quantity, but how the amount will be calculated? We will give the same way. How will be the amount calculation? Let us do the calculation. So, GR is posting for, we don't know the amount. I'm going to give you the calculation formula. Okay, let us make it a little bit visible. And we go. I always try to give different colors only for you to understand it. Purple and GR, we may give something. Okay. So, how will be the calculation? When the quantity of 10 is getting posted, system will check the source of the price. Already it has 8 quantity invoice receipt. So, it will take the amount. So, based on IR based on PO. So based on IR, it will take the eight quantity and 200 amount. Okay. So based on IR quantity eight. So based on PO, it will take two into 20, 40 quantity two. So what you can understand here, there is an invoice is posted. So eight quantity, it has taken quantity eight and the amount is 200 and remaining two quantity, it will search from the PO. If the invoice was posted for 10, it will take completely from the invoice. So how will be the amount will be derived? 200 plus 40 to 40. Okay, so the per unit cost will be calculated. So the overall will be calculated based on the uh, how much amount you are taking and all those stuff. Okay, here the per unit has become 24. This is how uh, if you have inverse receipt system, how will give the priority? I hope you understand this, how the system is getting calculated based on IR, based on PO, why I'm giving just for you to understand uh, how system will calculate it. Please watch this video again and again to understand the concept behind that. Let's go to the next question. A material has MAP of a material is 100 INR. Okay, so a material moving average price is 100, total stock is 20. So the total amount is 2000 INR. Now you create a PO. Okay, now you create a PO for which GR and IR are completed. Quantity is 10 and amount is 1000 INR. Okay, now you have posted subsequent credit for 10 quantity and the amount is 200 INR, what will be the new MAP? It's more tricky. I think you need to go for a, a go to Excel sheet and uh, we'll do derive how I derived this formula. So material current uh, is, okay. Before we do anything, material has MAP. MAP how much? 20. And uh, total stock, sorry, MAP 100, total stock is 20, MAP is 100, stock, stock is 20, total amount, total amount, 2000.
So this is the condition of a material before we do the anything. Okay, let me write here material. This is what happened. This is current stays. So in the current stays, the material has um, MAP stock and the amount are like this. Now what happened next? Now you create the PO and for which GR and IR already completed, quantity is 10 and the amount is 1000 INR. So new, new PO, GR and IR also completed. GR and IR completed, any node uh, anything. So how will be MAP will be there? So then quantity is 10 and the amount is 1000 INR. So let's go to exercise. So quantity 10 and um, they said 1000 INR. So how will be the MAP calculated? Total stock is 30, total is 3000. So MAP is still 100. After GR and IR, UPO was created. And uh, after GR and IR, you have a case of after GR and IR, MAP is 100 total stock has become 30. Now, what was the question? You have posted subsequent credit for 10 quantity and the amount is 200 INR. What will be the MAP? So you are posting now subsequent credit. Means you are asking amount from the vendor. So what will be the thing? subsequent uh, credit? It doesn't make any impact of the quantity. Uh, because subsequent credit will be just adding value only. You are asking for 200 INR. You are asking the from the vendor. So now what happens after subsequent credit? After subsequent credit, total stock is still 30. No changes to the stock because subsequent credit is not something kind of a GR. So total stock is still 30. Total amount, you are getting the, the amount from the vendor. So you are asking the amount from the vendor. So you are not paying to the vendor. You are asking from the amount from the vendor. So you are getting a benefit. So what happens? Total amount has become 2,800. Because 3000 you spent for 30 quantity, but vendor is giving you 200 rupees so that your total value of expenses has become 2800. I hope it is clear. You are getting benefit from the vendor of 200. So your expenses means total amount you spent for this stock, 3000, but you are getting 200 back. So your total amount has decreased to 2800. Now the MAP will be calculated. 2800 divided by 30. So the correct answer is 93.33. So very less people have answered in that even less 63 percentage also. 63 percentage only have given the correct answer. I hope it is clear now. How did we derive the MAP? Okay. So this is how you derive it. Watch again if you're not very clear. So current stays and uh, after new PO, after GR and IR, after subsequent credit. Okay, maybe we can give these documents here. What kind of documents you posted? Okay, so new PO was created. Current stays, it is like this. After GR and IR, it was like this. After subsequent credit, it will become like this. So 93.33, we have two 
things so that we will keep it as a and 3.33. I hope uh, this uh, question and explanation is helpful for you. If you feel little confusion, please watch two, three, four, five times, but learn. So next go for the next question. What is the meaning of ROHS? Uh, yeah, recently I am working for different warehouse projects and all the products are having these ROHS. So I felt like uh, let's give kind of uh, answer checking. It's like a restriction of hazardous substances in electrical and electronic equipment. So most of these kind of items, uh, there are no uh, hazardous items, substances are available or uh, restriction, like you should not contaminate and all those guidelines. So these are like say EU rules uh, giving this kind of restriction. The use of sub hazardous substances in electrical and electronic equipment to protect the environment and public health have given that one. This is only an awareness because as a procurement or inventory or warehouse, you should understand certain kind of technologies. So that day I just got a thought. So I felt uh, to share it, I shared with you. We are going to the next question. PO quantity is one quantity and the amount is 20,000 INR. GR quantity is one. The amount is to 20,000 because during GR, you cannot update the price. You cannot change the price. So same price of the PO will be taken if there is no invoice receipt. Now IR is posted for one quantity, but the amount is 23,000. Vendor has given you additional invoice and uh, finance and uh, purchasing team have agreed to pay that amount. Now finance member has posted that uh, extra due to some wrong communication. Payment is also done. Okay. He has done by mistake. It's not vendor is given due to some wrong. After a few weeks, they have found that extra to 3000 INR is paid to the vendor. Now they want to take back. Which of the below solution is suitable to handle the case? Create credit memo. No, credit memo will be involved only if you return the stock. The above process, we have not seen any returning. So first option is gone. Create subsequent debit. Little confusion is going to generate to you. Here, what happened? You paid extra. You are asking 3000 INR from the vendor. Subsequent debit means you are again going to pay. So do you want to pay it again? You want to pay 3000 more, total 6000? Wrong. Subsequent credit. This is the correct answer. There is no quantity involvement. One quantity you purchased, one quantity you received, one quantity you paid but you paid little extra, that little extra will be corrected with the use of subsequent credit. So 3000 INR you're going to take back from the vendor. So I see only 500, maybe many of the people uh, don't have patience to read the question. I had that also. So give some correct answer. Please think because you're not hurry, you're not in the interview, you're not in the, some exam. Peacefully opened YouTube channel and reading some question and one person is spending few minutes of time for you to educate it, to give different questions. Please uh, give that uh, respect to the time of the person, yeah, either myself or anyone. So how do you give a respect? By participating, by sharing with your friends. And if you're really feeling more uh, gratitude, give a comment. That will be helpful for us, right? Because when you see that one, the comments uh, will be a boost for us, the YouTubers. So. We are working, we are earning some good income and we are uh, growing in our uh, career, okay? So, but YouTube channel is something like uh, very few people are only able to maintain it. And for us, the motivation is your sharing and your uh, views in the comments. Please motivate us to do better, to think in a different way, to share the knowledge. Thank you. Okay, so the correct answer is create subsequent credit. Which of the filler document is called back order? Yeah, back order uh, word will be used in sales. Okay. So directly we can see sales order without delivery is called as a back order. Okay. If there is no stock, it is not able to convert to the delivery. Then the sales order will be sitting under back order. Once you receive, uh, once you do the new goods receipt, system will post the, uh, automatically create the uh, delivery. Or if you have an auto delivery program, 
or back job. Otherwise, you need to create uh, delivery if you have a sufficient stock. Yeah, this is our area. Our area means MM. Nowadays, uh, I'm involved in certain kind of sales also because uh, when I travel for as a solution architect for WM, or but we are not all the modules are traveling, so I deal MM also. And sometimes if there is no SD, I used to deal some SD level. That is a high level, the technologies and the few controls and the basic setup, talking to the business, those things. So the overall supply chain management, that is one of the reasons our videos will cover certain kind of uh, sales, uh, procurement, uh, warehouse. So I changed our na channel name from uh, SAP MMWM. We are not specific to only MMWM. We are making videos of... Um, uh, different areas in supply chain management. So I put the name as supply chain management. Which of the below document is called as release order? Yeah, release order will be used. Uh, if you create a purchase order with reference to contract, we called as release order. Release order doesn't mean it's just a purchase order, but it is created with reference to contract. You are sending IDOC to vendor from PO through output. Further data is given as for immediate. Now the PO is created and sent for approval. Which of the below statement is correct? IDOC will be triggered after PO approval. Yes. Directly I have given the first statement as correct answer. Until PO is approved, IDOC will be still in yellow. Although you have four. What is this four and all Ganesh is talking? You can go to purchase order. ME23N. I hope it is loading. So if any one of you have come to our channel for the first time, click on subscribe button. And uh, when you watch this video, I hope we will get at least some 20, 30, 40 subscribers. I want to see 50,000 very soon. With your help, if you share more people, we can achieve maybe by October, little early. Current projection is we are going to reach uh, 50,000 by November, 2023. But if you people make some magic, how can you make magic? By sharing your videos with your friends on LinkedIn. You can tag me on LinkedIn. We have 50,000 followers so that uh, many people can uh, get that one. Okay, we have 700 plus videos. If you take at least uh, your favorite videos, if you share once in a month by copying me, you can just uh, tag me there. So I cannot share weekly one or two. I can share max weekly one. But if all of you decide and share, every day once in a month we have thousands of followers so that will make huge difference there are many good videos which are not getting enough views how can we give the enough views to those videos by just sharing that can be done by you so now you come to this uh, what point i'm going to discuss go to messages if you have any output in further data we have options select this and go to further data i'm talking about this four okay send immediately when saving the application send with one uh, one transaction means me9f you have to me9f uh, transaction you can do that one most of these two will be used so me9f or immediately although you put immediately if the po is under approval that will be still in green color sorry still in yellow color once the PO is approved, it will become green. Okay. If there is error, then only it will be a red color. See, processed with errors. During yellow, it will be not processed. And if it is green, it will successfully process it. You also click on processing log to see what is the reason for that respect to error. You can analyze and check it that one. Call content error adds to. Okay, based on the error, you can see that I think the program related which program is assigned is not uh, proper. So you're getting that error message. Okay, so until PO approval, IDOC will not be triggered. Next question.
Which of the below reports will provide the price change document report in SAP? The correct answer is CKMPC, SCA, RCH. It's a right question. Mostly below four years, you may get these kind of questions. Even after also, you can get it, but they don't. They may not ask you the T code. At least they can ask you, is there any SAP standard report available? Okay. So such a price change document, you cannot get in MB51. So you have to use this report for uh, getting the price change documents. Okay, we have a few more to finish this video. Which of those we look at? Yeah. So this one we don't have to go inside. Okay, let's go. It's not related to SAP technical, but it will be helpful because many of you dream to go, maybe for short time or long term. Few people go for short term and decide to be long term. Few people strongly decide to be long term from the day one. Okay, I think we came up, came to end. Which of the below countries uh, generally recruit foreigners directly without any payment? Uh, for visa, the recruiters from the countries, okay, not the countries. So, according to my experience, I provided I see Singapore, Malaysia, UAE, these countries uh, directly recruit from India or other countries. They sponsor visa also. So, have a look. Go to our channel and search the video uh, Foreign Job by Ganesh Padala. So, you will find our video where I have uh, explained the different countries and how to get the opportunity. Please. Check the video. See, in this one year, already 10,000 members have watched. I hope uh, at least few of the people have, would have got the benefit. I'm happy for that. And you also join the hands, like you also join uh, in the beneficiaries. Next question. A material has two unit of measures, for example, each and box. Here, one box equals to 10 quantity. A vendor provides the material for $20 per one each and $180 per box. Is it possible to map this business requirement in SAP? Yes, it is possible. When you buy box, he's giving you for a less price. When you buy with uh, one quantity, two quantity, three quantity like that, he's giving you $20. So uh, because box means he doesn't have to pack separately, for example, still you can uh, manage uh, with the standard quantity. But still, sometimes you, you may order um, uh, 28 pieces or 12 pieces or 14 pieces. Uh, these kind of things uh, will increase their work. They have to open a box and pack it to in a loose box. So if someone is buying 10 boxes, 30 boxes, it's very easy for them. Go and pick the box and send to the customer. They don't have to uh, unpack and pack, doing that manual work and proper labeling, proper stickering again and all, it will save a lot of time so that uh, he's giving to their customers. If you buy in boxes, I'm going to give you some discount. Okay, that's the, their market strategy. So we have a video on this. You can learn uh, about... Okay, how to process... Uh, get it that uh, to get different prices with a different unit of measure in purchase order by Ganesh Padala. You can watch it. It is possible. How can you achieve that? Watch this video and learn. Will system generate accounting document if you update the price unit in MR21? For example, 10 pieces cost is $15. You have changed it per one piece, cost is $1.5. The answer is no. If you change the price unit, system will not create any accounting document because the overall price is not changed. If you change the per unit, uh, not only price unit, you're also changing the price, then system will generate the accounting document. It's a basic fundamental. GR for multiple purchase orders can be posted at once. So GR for multiple purchase orders can be posted at once with the transaction code MIGO. Which of the prerequisites is correct to achieve the same? So GR for multiple POs. All POs must have same material code. No, all POs must have the same vendor code because when you create uh, in MIGO, the vendor is at the header level. 
So all the POs should be see, should belong to the same vendor because the vendor level vendor is at the header level. So the prerequisite is all the POs must have the same vendor code. Which of the below activities will impact the moving average price of a material in SAP? Validated goods CC pregnancy purchase order, invoice CC pregnancy purchase order, posting initial stock entry with 561 moment. All of the above is correct answer. If you post invoice received with little changes of the price, then the MAP will be impacted. And if you do the goods received against a PO, if the PO has different price, that also will impact. And uh, you're posting initial stock uh, balances with 561 there is a field called amount in lc amount in local currency so there you can give the different price for example goods received other give 561 561. Here uh, you will get a field called amount in a local currency. Here you can give the amount whatever you want. So this amount will make an impact to your moving average price. Okay, that's why I have given these three options, and all of the above is the correct answer. I want every quiz must be thousand people needs to select. Which table stores the data of purchase or delivery date? Generally, we think EKPO, but answer is EKET. EKET will store the delivery date. Go to SA16N. Okay, I need South. You finish the asking next one. You look really fresh of chess. Very nice. Congratulations. Tell Bakar Kora, Manamatar Dores. So now I give you the EKET. Click on the field. Yeah, you no need to give. You already have the delivery date field EA and DT. Okay, so if you want to uh, derive the delivery date for your purchase order form or any report, then you need to use EKT table, but not EKPO. EKPO will not store you the delivery date. You can cross check also EKPO. Okay, you have our delivery and all those stuff, but not delivery date. Priority, all those things are there, but not delivered it. Okay, next question. Which of the below activity will impact the moving average price of a material in SAP? Nice. Same question with the different options. non validated GR, the answer is like, which of the below activity will impact the moving average price? non validated GR, non validated GR will never impact your MAP. Invoice received with similar price of purchase order at the material master. So your invoice receipt is posting with the same price of PO and same price of material master, then no impact to MAP. Invoice received with a different price from the PO and material master. Yes, if you post invoice receipt, your PO of everything is $100 per unit, but invoice receipt you are posting for 105, then this will impact your MAP. Validated GR with PO price, which is same as material master. See, material master and PO price both are same, then no impact. Okay, you can read that uh, content just to avoid confusion and you can answer it. The correct answer is this one. 78% of members have given the correct answer. Okay. Which of the billet activity will impact the moving average price of material? Okay, just now we completed this one. Pre goods received of a valuated stock materials impacts the moving average price. Is it true? 
answer is true because you are receiving the quantity but no value already you have certain kind of amount so how does it happen so if you go to our excel sheet and uh, let us copy this one because this can be used for us current stage is um, let us remove these things okay We'll take it current stage a material has the 20 quantity and total amount is 2000 and map is 100. now you create a new po free goods po free goods po how can a po can become free goods we are going to show you now free goods po after gr for free goods po there will not be any ir okay that also we are going to see in the system first of all let's complete our uh, question to answer after GR, how much you created? Free goods PO, uh, quantity 10, total amount is 0. Okay. So you are receiving 10 quantity without any price. Then what will happen? Total stock has become 30, but total value is only 2000. Then the moving average price will be 66.67. Sixty-six point six seven. Okay, sixty-six point six seven will be your um, MAP for that respective material after you have done the GR for the free goods PO. So no change in the value, the amount, but uh, quantity is increased so that your MAP is drastically decreased. Now how can we say a PO is um, Free goods, go to ME twenty three N. Okay, so let us take this PO. How can you make this PO as free goods immediately? What changes will happen? So before saying that, I would net price has some hundred INR, and uh, if you go to invoice tab, there is invoice receipt flag is there and hundred INR. Now I'm going to make this as a free PO, click on check button. Two things will happen. Okay. So anyway, there is a, some tax code it is expecting. Give some tax code. Okay. So two things happen. What are those two things? Go to. Okay. What are the two changes happen? One is net price has become blank. The hundred has disappeared. And in invoice tab, invoice receipt has become blank. For example, if you click the invoice receipt and click on check button. Okay. And save it. Okay. So system will automatically make it blank. P is disappear. Put the free indicator. Okay. If you activate invoice receipt, then free is automatically removed. Save it. So now you check the PO. Free goods is there. Invoice receipt is blank. And PO amount is blank. If you activate invoice receipt, click check button. See what happened? 100 is back. Free goods is removed. So these are the interlink. If you keep free goods, a net price will become blank and invoice receipt flag will be removed automatically. Okay. That's what I wanted to convey. Okay. 77% are given correct answer. This is already completed. Okay, we have finished all of our uh, questions which were asked in uh, quizzes in last uh, three months. They, it was started by uh, YouTube. Thanks to YouTube for introducing this quizzes, which is helpful for all of you. And for me also kind of a new uh, way of knowledge sharing. So I, I always think to uh, what kind of content I can share and what kind of knowledge learning, which I'm learning from my projects and the regular life. So which can be helpful for all of you. And this is the biggest motivation for me to learn new things. Okay. So thanks to all of you for uh, who are supporting.
and uh, keep supporting me and keep sharing knowledge and um, keep helping others. For now, my expectation from all of you, share at least one video per month and comment your wish. Try to comment at least once in a month. And whoever getting the more uh, hearts from me, right, they will get a blue icon. And definitely I try to uh, filter those blue icon related members. I will see the option to do the filtration. Otherwise, if I go and see the comments, I can easily find out that blue color members. And I will try to interact uh, directly over a phone call or a Zoom meeting. So just to discuss uh, for their gratitude. Thanks again and uh, keep helping, keep sharing our knowledge. And before leave, click on subscribe button. Our target is to reach 50,000 as early as possible with your support. Thank you. See you again with another video. Thank you.